Good evening guys, this is uh, Dr. Paul. Today let us discuss some of the most common heart blocks. You know the normal sinus rhythm, as you can see in this EKG, there are P waves followed by QRS complexes. Every P wave is followed by a QRS complex, that is normal sinus rhythm. But in the first degree heart block, you can see here, the PR interval has actually increased. It's prolonged more than 0.2 seconds. This is uh, most commonly it is asymptomatic. You don't have to, it's actually occur in normal individuals and uh, even when you use um, drugs that increase uh, vagal tone, this happens. So basically first degree heart block is prolonged PR interval and it does not need any treatment. Now let us go for a second degree heart block. This is second degree heart block and uh, the most commonly it is divided into two types, morbid type 1 and morbid type 2. This is morbid type 1. In morbid type 1, the PR interval gradually increases until a dropped beat occurs. You can see PR interval gradually increasing until a drop beat occurs. This is also known as wink back phenomenon. And uh, it's usually symptomatic. All you have to do is to stop the offending drug. Most commonly it is caused by desoxin, beta blockers, calcium channel blockers. So wink back phenomenon is prolonged PR interval with a dropped beat. Now this is morbid type 2 second degree heart block. In morbid type 2 second degree heart block, there is no change in PR interval. You can see here, PR interval has not changed in the first PQRS complex, in the second PQRS complex, in the third PQRS complex, the PR interval has not changed. However, there is a P wave that is not followed by QRS complex. That means the AV block is happening without any change in PR interval. That is the characteristic feature of morbid type 2. It occurs in patients who have previous septal MI or fibrotic disease of the conduction system. And uh, this may occasionally give to syncope or progress to third degree block. And the main treatment is pacemaker placement. So morbid type 2 second degree place a pacemaker. Now let us come to the third degree heart block. As you can see the P waves and the QRS complexes, there is no relationship between them. They are contracting differently at their own pace. So it's uh, a complete disarray. There is a complete chaos between atria and ventricles. There is no um, coordination when they contract and uh, this usually results in symptoms like syncope, dizziness, acute heart failure, hypotension. So third degree heart block is uh, a serious condition. Patient may actually fall dead because of the incoordination between AT and ventricles and uh, you must always use a pacemaker to treat this problem. So that is first, second and third degree heart blocks and uh, you can also visit our website at www.usmlvideos.net. Thank you.